let me welcome you with a, uh, my language called wah, 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 wah. I am Benny Wenda, chief of the Lani tribe, West Papua. I have been fighting my whole life. I have seen a number of my own family killed in front of my eyes. And I have been jailed by the Indonesia and threatened with the political execution. But with the support of the Pacific family and with support of our friends from around the world, I'm convinced that we are finally and peacefully put end uh, this bloodshed. And it is not a West Papuan issue. It is not a Pacific issue, but it is a humanitarian issue. An issue that should concern all of us about the right of all humans to live in peace, to have the right to, to determine their own destiny without being tortured and brutalized, without being killed, raped, murdered, and this is what is happening. If the Western world is so concerned about humanitarian issues and is constantly instructing us on democracy and the rights of human beings, then this is an example that they need to look at. The Prime Minister of Solomon Islands, Manasi Sogovari, has already asked the Indonesian president to visit Indonesia so they can talk about the issue. The request was rejected. However, never give up. I have come all the way from, the, from Tonga to show my moral support to the struggle of the people of West Papua uh, for independence and self-determination. Momentum is gaining very fast in the international community and uh, our presence here at this important meeting convened by the International Parliamentarians of West Papua is aimed at gaining further support. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanuatu has made its stand very clear. God provide for Vanuatu and God will provide for West Papua. I thank you very much my friends journalists for your kindness to report this to the world so that we can end this crime against humanity. Something has to be done here. And if there is nothing to be done about what is going on, then we will see the genocide of a, of a people, a holocaust of a sort, right on our own doorsteps. I'm very proud to say that our liberation movement will be joining with our friends here from the Pacific and many other from around the world to formally call for international supervised vote of self-determination in West Papua. West Papua had the right to self-determination in 1969, a right that was denied to them. That vote did not take place in accordance with international law. And the simple answer is they're entitled to the vote that they were promised by the international community. Recognition of human rights and justice has to be the cornerstone of foreign policy, the cornerstone of our relationship with every other country. And so I'm delighted that you've come here today. I want these issues to become central to our party's policies in the future. And above all, I want to see an end to the environmental degradation and destruction and the right of people to be able to make their own choice on their own future. Thank you very much for inviting me here today. Without international action, the West Papua people brings excessive the right of the people of West Papua to genuine self-determination. Declare the 
1969 Act of Free Choice to be gross violence and the peace principle. Call for an international supervised vote and self-determination in accordance with the UN General Assembly. It is the duty of each and every one of us as Pacific Islanders, as human beings, to fight, to actively ensure that they are able to live with us and enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy. Today is a historic day.